23 ABC's Adam Bowles went to Arvin today to find out what's being done about a chemical in the soil linked to cancer. Adam? Officials say this has been going on for decades here in Arvin, California. Something in the water could have long-term effects on your health, which could be linked to cancer. Alejandro Villanueva says he lives in a town where most people are from low-income backgrounds. To buy water, it costs us $15 to $20 a week. That's almost $60 a month, and they're charging us for a service that isn't working. He comes to the Kern County Library in Arvin to drink clean water because something about his water isn't right. It has a very bad smell, and if you taste it, it tastes like chemicals, like water from a lab. First, it was arsenic in the water. Now, wells all over Arvin found to be tainted with a substance called 123-TCP, which was tested by the state to be linked to cancer. Alejandro is only surviving on bottled water from the store while still paying the bill for the poisoned water. When I've gone to pay my water bill, I ask them about the quality of the water, and they tell me that everything is fine, that we can drink it. So I ask them, why don't you go drink it? And they don't. The children in Arvin also suffer. My mom, uh, she boils water. And to shower, we just use the same water, I guess. Well, I don't know what else to do about it, so. And she didn't even know about the TCP found in the already poisonous water. That's, that's not a good sign. And knowing that a lot of kids live in this town, like that's not something we should be known for. Known for what officials say is garbage in their water that was added long ago. It's something the general manager of the Arvin Community Service District is keeping a close eye on. So 123 TCP uh, was a chemical that Dow Chemical and Shell Oil used in some of their fumigants that they had back in the 50s and 60s. And the, during this time, some of their scientists realized that this was basically, and this is their words, a garbage ingredient and was a way that they, uh, an easy way for them to dispose of it was to just put it into this pesticide that was being sprayed up and down the state of California. While Dow and Shell Oil removed the chemical in the 1980s, the chemical still sits in the soil, and it could stretch well beyond the boundaries of Arvin. I think everybody in the Central Valley is affected by it, and all our families are affected by it. On Tuesday, the State Water Resources Control Board voted unanimously to implement a maximum level of 123 TCP in the drinking water. In the meantime, Arvin officials have until early 2019 to fix the city's problem with the arsenic in the water. In Arvin, Adam Bowles, 23 ABC.